Hello YouTube, this is Rose Fish Tanks, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a DIY power head filter. So what you need, you need the power head itself, a cylinder that will fit the power head, filter media, which I've chosen wool, and different variety of rock sizes. So to start off with, um, you get the cylinder, and you're going to cut holes in the cylinder where the water can be sucked into. So I've got holes at the bottom, holes around the side. And the second part, you guys don't have to do the same as me, but you can use different media. But what I've chosen is wool because I had that around the house to use. So what you'll do, you'll grab the media of the wool, slide it in here, make it nice and tight. That's what she said. Then you get the rocks. I'll make it easier by just doing this because I've got some rocks in the container. I'm not just get a handful. You can see probably rocks going everywhere. So you're just trying to get the middle of the... And then, so you have the decent amount of rocks in there. And then, what I'll do again, I'll get more of this wool and put it in here. Then rocks again, I'm making a mess with the rocks. Yeah. Then the last bit is wool. Okay, then you need to do you need to get the power head filter and connect that with that. It looks like that. What you can do, I'm not going to be doing this, but you can use silicon to wrap around there. So it's like that. So it stays together. As you can see, this won't stay together. Then place it in your aquarium and you'll be good to go. Um, and guys, that's how you do that's how you do a DIY power head filter.